black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today we make the semi lazy man's enchilada right here. And that's why it's semi lazy is because we're not making the sauce from scratch. We've already got the pulled rotisserie breast chicken. And then we have a few other little preparatory tasks to do because we're gonna make this topped deluxe, oh, fancified if you will. But I've never made enchiladas before. Simple version, let's get to it. I know I'm gonna like this meal. It's just a matter of getting it together. So let's do it. So our few little tasks are pico prep, pseudo crema prep, lettuce and cheese. But I just want some toppings to topify the chaladas when they're out and looking all cheesy and baked and nice. But we're just gonna do a little bit of fine minced onion to start. Scoop into the bowl. Next we have pickled jalapenos. Just gonna also fine mince these guys to mix in to the pico. Scoop in, scoop in. And of course we need some tomato as well. Nice and juicy. And of course, a scoop and an in. A scoop and an in, a scoop and an in. Wipe. Little touch of oil. Little glug of white wine vin. Pinch of salt. And a little spin. And there you've got a little simple salsa pico topper. Pseudo crema. Basically, I need a thinner sour cream. So we got sour cream here, 14%, nice and thick. But in order to thin it out, we deploy the method of the pickling brine. So we have these banana pepper chunks, mild in heat, and we just want to thin this out so it's a more squirtable, more runny sour cream. We go ahead and plop that in a squirt bottle for our finishing move later on. And now we have a more squirtable cream. Delicious. Definitely need some nice cold shredders, shredded iceberg lettuce. Super thin, nice and cold for a finishing touch. Just like so, that angel hair New Jersey sub lettuce. Of course, we've got to grate up our mutts. Now you guys know I like the slender side. I keep it slender, not my body, but definitely the cheese. You know what I mean? I like the slender cheese. I'd like a slender body, but that's not gonna happen when you eat enchiladas a lot, you know? Even though, you know, I've never made them, but you get what I'm saying, basically. Also, pro tip, um, it's worth it to save $3 just to grate your own cheese real quick because I got the same amount of cheese in a brick as a bag of shredded, but the bag of shredded was twice the cost. And in these economic downturn times, you gotta just grate your own cheese. Put in that elbow work, a little bit of oil, oil, elbow, oil, grease, and you just, you know, you do it. And then you're left with prop snacks too. So it is what it is. Just gonna let a little bit of air out of the bag and smash these guys. I will save you the sound though, okay? Just know that I did that. And these are a $1 hollow, the steal of the day. Fritos in the dollar store, really looking out for your boy. Saying it like it is, actually a dollar at the dollar store. <laughs> Slap your tortillas. I gave these a uh, little 30 second blast in the micro wave so that they are more pliable to roll our rotisserie cheese chicken blunts. And just like so, we go. Maybe a little ounce of chicken, ounce and a half, maybe two ounces of chicken. We come in with our slim shredded moths and we take ourselves back to grade nine on the basement toilet, rolling up joints for sale, trying to keep the smell hidden from my dad with the bathroom fan on. Full blast. And we just roll up. Just like so. Through the process of me editing out an arduous process, the chicken blunts are ready to roll. Into a lightly pre-enchilada sauce baking tray from the Bucker 2, we will lay down our poultry blunts. 
Take your time, make it nice. Tender, love, and care. We're left with a rogue blunt, but I think I'm gonna tuck it in right over there. Could have had it as a snack, could have ruined my appetite, didn't though, appreciate me. Now we shall administer more shosh upon the top. You make it as soaky, soggy as you'd like. I'm gonna leave it right about there. And then we finish up with the top layer of our nice melty, meltyable cheese. Maybe I'll have to get a little more shredded up because that does not seem like enough to me. Should have used the whole brick. Anyhow, this goes into a 350 oven for 15 to 20 minutes. 25 mins later, this is what we're looking at. A perfectly baked, cheesy, gooey chalada tray. Let's let this rest for just a few and then we dress it. Time to dress to impress. So first I'm gonna go zigzag crema, shredded lettuce, shreddice. Come in with that simple pico salsa, whatever you want to call it, but just a simple delicious topping. And then our crumbly, crunchy frito lay. Finishing move, more diagonal crema, light drizz, just to make it nice. Photo op, come across the other way with a little light Valentina drizz. And that's it y'all, a deluxe tray, dress to impress, chicken, enchilada. Let's eat it. All right y'all, welcome to my first time whipping some enchiladas non-traditionale. And I think they never do it really like this. They always keep it very, very simple. Uh, I've had them before actually on my travels, Arizona, California but uh, I've never made them myself. So here we are, saw them come together, ice machine making a ruckus as per usual, but we just let that be. Uh, before we do anything more, as you can see, I usually, anytime I have something like this, I always gotta have myself the Baja Blast. So we must papa pour. We come again with the Timmy Hose cup. It's the new thing. It's just cause it holds more, it has more capacity. So we pour up that uh, aqua seafoam strange green, that perfect iceberg. We pucker up, buttercup. And we get that perfect first sip of the most inexplicable tasting soda on the planet <laughs> all right i shaved off the sides of this metal thing so hoping not to like slice my wrists while i do this uh tin is very sketchy and uh these are existing in this direction so i don't know where to go from i'll go from the back hit it from the back attack from the back and just try to give you guys a a full on everything full disclosure bite there it is there that's the full disclosure bite perfect thought when i had that crunch i was eating tray Turns out the bottom of the uh, tortilla, I guess, was a little crisp, or I just had a full ringolo in there. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very perfect. All the flavors, of course, are meshing and melding and molding and coming together perfectly. 
that pre-done enchilada sauce. It was good. It just tastes like a like a taco sauce. Like uh like an old El Paso taco sauce. Very uh, Tex-Mex style. But that crunch of those Fritos is necessary. The acidity in the crema and from the pickle jalapenos. Very nice. Nice and soft. But also having those other textures. Delicious. Kind of gives me uh, taco in a bag vibes. Something I've never made. A taco in a bag, but it's cool, but it seems kind of novelty, a little bit of like a party trick. so far don't know why just was all the ratios perfect Mean green palate cleanse. <clears throat> a new development <laughs> development in my content. I've been leaving in a couple tasteful burps here and there. <laughs> people probably hate them, but some people find them funny or intriguing, I guess. I don't know. It is a natural part of eating, I feel as if sometimes, like just certain meals with soda, obviously make you burp. I feel like it's just something that everybody could relate to, but it is also sort of obnoxious if you can cut it out. But I used to watch some muck channels where People used to like love the burp aspect of it. It was like a highlight to the channel. People just love the burps. Which to me was always a bit strange.
But life is strange. And humans are strange. You know? I'll be honest, I'm doing more damage on this thing than I expected to. This is equivalent to two chicken breasts, seven tortillas, baby tortillas, and an entire small brick, a brick nonetheless, of mozzarella cheese. fully have a sweat tear beating down my cheek. But man, is it good. I can't quit. Sweats are in full effect. All right, that's where it feels right. One single chilada roll left. We're gonna have that as a snack in a little while. That was delicious. As is this. Hopefully I didn't do any sort of uh, disservice to the classic chilada. But for me, I was like, I need to dress it up. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Try enchiladas and stay true.